NIO of China continues to find strong demand for its luxury electric SUVs while expanding its electric car inventory and developing new EV batteries. However, the chip problem persists. Is NIO stock a good investment right now? Stay tuned as we have a few mind-blowing facts about NIO throughout the video. Welcome back to our channel. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for us to provide you with more valuable content. In today's video, we're going to have a look into how NEO stock will hit $50 soon. Please note that nothing mentioned in this video should be seen as financial advice. We're bullish on NEO as of right now, but a lot of things can change over the coming years and could bring a lot of variations. So don't just rush into our recommendations. There's always the risk of losing money by investing in the stock market. With that being said, let's get back. NIO is one of the most promising participants in the EV industry, with a strong chance of becoming a global leader. They've carved out their own place in the electric vehicle market thanks to their quick execution and capabilities. In the future, electric vehicles will be the primary means of transportation. Many car companies have started to develop their own electric vehicle models. With technologies like lane keeping assist, automatic parking assist, and adaptive cruise control, as well as a cross traffic alert brake, the artificial intelligence NEO Pilot has been taking steps towards self driving. One of the main reasons NEO has to expand worldwide is to develop the NEO Pilot. Tesla has an advantage in the electric vehicle industry because it was the first to do so. Companies are still fighting for market supremacy when a product category is still in its early stages of adoption. NEO is one of the companies that has made a decision. The electric vehicle market in China is huge and growing quickly. From the beginning of 2021 to November, the number of electric vehicles sold in China climbed to 178%. China accounted for more than 40% of global EV sales in the first half of the year 2021. As a result, all the major electric vehicle manufacturers are competing for a piece of this rapidly growing market. NEO announced that it's been certified in accordance with UN Regulation No. 155, UNR 155, on cybersecurity management systems, making it the first company in China and one of the first in the world to do so. UNR-155 is the world's first mandated vehicle cybersecurity rule and it's widely used in countries and regions such as Europe, the United Kingdom, Japan, and Korea. According to NEO, the move will be critical to the company's internationalization efforts. NEO stated that cybersecurity is critical to the smart electric car user experience and that it has been devoted to safeguarding vehicle cybersecurity since its beginning. According to NEO, the business has established technical teams in China, the United States and Germany, as well as industry-leading security research and development capabilities. NEO will enter Germany, the Netherlands, Sweden and Denmark next year, according to William Lee, creator, chairman and CEO of NEO, who spoke at the NEO Day 2021 event on December 18. In October, NEO inaugurated its first overseas NEO house in Oslo, making the company's first entry into international markets. By 2025, NEO hopes to service people in more than 25 countries and territories around the world, according to Lee. The ET5 is meant to meet CNCAP and Euro NCAP five star safety standards, according to Lee, and boasts an ultra high strength steel and aluminum hybrid body with an overall torsional stiffness. NEO has now gained essential certifications that will allow it to be used in EU countries in the future. The European Conformity Certificate and TUV Mark Approval Certificate were awarded by TUV Rhineland a German certification body to the power swap station, the DC power charger, and the AC wall box power home. That means that the devices can be bought and used in any European country. The first shipments of chargers and exchange stations have arrived in Norway. More stations are scheduled to open soon and at a rapid rate as a result of the launch in other nations. The number of battery exchange stations is predicted to more than double by 2025. By that time, NEO hopes to have over 4,000 stations operating around the world, including over 1,000 outside of China. NEO intends to sell electric automobiles in China's luxury market. After more than doubling EV sales in the previous years and bouncing back from the verge of bankruptcy, 
NEO is continuing to boost its EV sales. NEO's market positioning that comes under affordable luxury and emphasis on customer service as well as growing adoption of EVs by Chinese consumers are recognized. NEO had a quiet year in 2021, and as a result, it lost considerable ground to major competitors. But 2022 is already shaping up to be a very different year. NEO will introduce three new models this year, beginning with its new ET7 flagship sedan in March, and now it appears that the second facility will be operational soon. The ES8, ES6, and EC6 are three luxury electric SUVs produced by the hot Chinese company. NEO is extending its operations outside of China while expanding its capacity in China. In Norway, it sells the ES8. In 2022, it intends to market the forthcoming ET7 in Norway and Germany. Fundamentally, NEO's financial situation is improving. It has significantly reduced losses while achieving significant top-line growth. A larger car variety, foray into Europe, and battery advancements all create further possibilities for growth. On the other side, the EV wars are heating up. In the medium term, the chip supply shortage is pressure for NEO. In the long run, battery shortages may become an even bigger issue for EV stocks. NEO's long-term success will be defined by its ability to capture a major share of the EV market by increasing profits and expanding beyond China. NEO now outsources vehicle production, which is beneficial in the short term but not in the long run. They were able to expand so swiftly because they outsourced production in the near run. Vehicle sales and service packages are the two main methods in which NEO makes money. For the time being, car sales have been losing money, but service packages include battery swapping. This is where they truly excel in comparison to the rest of the electric vehicle markets. Their battery subscription service saves them thousands of dollars on the cost of their vehicle. This will encourage more electric vehicle users to contact NEO. Across the country, the company offers about 700 battery charging stations, over 3,000 fast chargers, and 3,319 destination chargers. Furthermore, the company has connected over 430,000 third-party charging stations. It plans to have approximately 1,300 battery exchange stations, 6,000 rapid chargers, and 10,000 destination chargers by the end of 2022. At the company's battery swap stations, customers can replace a worn-out or drained battery with a charged one or upgrade to a better cell. Another appealing feature is that replacing a battery only takes 3 minutes. And the idea of swapping batteries is a popular one in China, as evidenced by the fact that over 5.3 million swaps have been completed at NEO swap stations to date. So there you have it, and with that we've come to the end of our video. With continued success, NEO is going to be one of the most successful companies in the world, and we're absolutely positive that NEO stock has great potential and will hit a greater mark by 2022. We hope that you enjoyed watching the video. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. If you found it inspiring and want to see more, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to this channel for more updates. Leave a comment below on what you think about NEO stock. This will help us learn your take on it and improve our understanding. As you know, learning is a mutual process.